Welcome to the FreeCAD for 3D printing series, project 3 of 40. In this video, we'll learn a simple and easy method to model this functional 3D printed air ventilated funnel in FreeCAD ready for printing. This series is a complete learning journey designed to take you from basic modeling to designing functional, ready to print part. Each video covers a practical, real world model, something you can actually print and use. So what exactly is a ventilated funnel? It's a funnel designed with special features to prevent a condition called airlock when transferring liquids. When you use a regular funnel in a narrow neck container, the liquid being poured can seal the opening completely. As the liquid flows in, the trapped air inside has no way to escape, causing pressure buildup, slow flow, or even a complete stop. That's the airlock. A ventilated funnel fixes this issue by adding small grooves along its outer surface. These grooves act as channels for air to escape, allowing a smooth, steady flow without glugging. As always, we'll break the model into clear, easy to follow steps and build it piece by piece. And FreeCAD makes this process even easier. To make it simple for you to follow along, I've also prepared a step-by-step -step PDF guide. You can download it from the link in the video description below. All right then, let's get started. In this step, we'll create the main body of the funnel, the base shape around which all other features will be built. Since the part is cylindrical, We'll sketch the side profile and revolve it around an axis to form the 3D shape. Open FreeCAD and switch to the Part Design Workbench. Click on Create New Sketch. You'll see three planes. Select the XZ plane, that's the front plane. Now we're inside the Sketcher Workbench. Grab the Polyline tool, start from the origin, and draw the rough outer profile with the vertical axis as the center. Don't worry about exact dimensions yet, just focus on getting a rough outline similar to the reference drawing. Now that a rough sketch is ready, it's time to apply dimensions and fully define it. So grab the dimension tool from the toolbar, click on this horizontal line, and set its length to half of 70 millimeters, which is 35 millimeters. We're using half dimensions here because we're only sketching one side of the profile. This vertical line is seven millimeters. The vertical distance of this slanted line is 52.5 millimeters. This height is 22 millimeters. Finally, click on this top horizontal line and set its width to half of 11 millimeters, which is 5.5 millimeters. Once you've entered all these dimensions, you'll notice the sketch lines turn green. That means the sketch is now fully constrained. Next, we'll add fillets to smooth the sharp corners. Activate the fillet tool and select these two sharp vertices. You'll see rounded corners appear at those locations. After adding the fillets, you might notice the sketch turns under constrained again. That's because the fillet radii aren't yet defined. So let's fix that using the dimension tool. Select the first fillet and set its radius to 22 millimeters. Then select the second fillet and set its radius to five millimeters. Once those values are applied, the entire sketch turns green again, meaning it's fully constrained and ready for the next operation. Now close the sketch to return to the part design workbench. Back in the part design workbench, locate the sketch you just created in the model tree, select it, and then click on the revolution tool to convert this 2D profile into a 3D solid. In the revolution parameters, Make sure the axis of revolution is set to the vertical sketch axis. That's the line we used as the center while drawing the profile. Next, set the angle of revolution to 360 degrees so that the profile revolves all the way around and forms a complete body. Once those settings look good, click OK to confirm. And just like that, FreeCAD generates the full 3D shape. That completes step one of our project. Next, let's create the groove along the outer body of the funnel. This is the key design feature that allows air to escape and prevents air lock. All right, back in FreeCAD, make sure you're in the part design workbench. Rotate the model so you can see the large face of the funnel. Now select this bottom face. Click on Create New Sketch. Once you're inside the sketcher, grab the circle tool. We'll need to place the center point of this circle exactly at the intersection of the funnel's outer circle and the horizontal axis. But here's the thing, since the funnel surface doesn't belong to this sketch, we can't directly select it inside this sketch. To bring it in as a reference, activate the external geometry tool, 
then click on the outer circumference of the funnel. FreeCAD will bring it into the current sketch as a pink dashed line. Right click to exit the tool, then select the circle tool again. Now pick the intersection point between that dashed circumference and the horizontal axis as the center and drag out a rough circle. At this point, if you try to move the circle, you'll notice it stays attached to the circumference, but it's not yet aligned with the horizontal axis. So to fix that, hold control, select both the center point of the circle and the horizontal axis, and apply the coincident constraint. This locks the circle in place properly. Next, grab the dimension tool and set the diameter of the circle to five millimeters. Once you do that, the circle turns green, indicating that the sketch is now fully constrained. Now, close the sketch to return to the part design workbench. Rotate the model to view the small circular profile we just created. We now have the circle profile and the path along which we want to create the groove. The idea here is to remove material by sweeping this circular shape along the curved outer surface of the funnel. To perform this operation, we'll use the subtractive pipe tool. From the model tree, select the circle sketch we just created and click on the subtractive pipe icon. In the pipe parameters, the profile, which is our circle, will already be selected. Next, we need to choose the path that the profile will sweep along. Click on Add Edge, then zoom in and carefully select each edge segment along the outer surface of the funnel. Once all edges are added, you'll see a preview of the groove forming along the funnel. If everything looks good, click OK to confirm. And just like that, the ventilation groove is created. That completes this step. The air ventilation groove is now successfully modeled. The next step is to smoothen the sharp edges of the groove we just made. This will give the model a more refined look and remove any harsh corners that might appear after the subtractive operation. Back in FreeCAD, Make sure you're still in the part design workbench. From the toolbar, activate the fillet tool. In fillet parameters on the left side, we'll change the radius value to 1.5 millimeters. Now click on select and carefully pick these two edges along the outer side of the groove. Click OK to confirm and apply the fillet. You'll see the sharp corners now appear rounded and smooth, giving a more professional finish to the groove. And that completes this step. Now, the body is solid. The next step is to make this body hollow, just like a real funnel that's made from thin plastic material. This is very easy to do in FreeCAD. We'll use a new tool called the Thickness Tool. You can find it right here in the Part Design Workbench. Select the body, then click on the Thickness Tool. In the Thickness Parameters, set the thickness value to 1 millimeter. This represents the material thickness of the funnel wall. If you want the funnel to be sturdier or more durable, you can increase this value slightly. That will make the walls thicker and stronger. Next, for mode, keep it set to skin. And for joint type, choose arc. Now, check the option that says make thickness inwards. This will ensure the hollowing happens inside the existing solid shape. After that, click select and pick the top face and bottom face of the funnel. These faces will be opened up, and FreeCAD will automatically create a hollow shell from the solid body. Once everything is set, click OK to confirm. And just like that, the solid funnel instantly becomes hollow with uniform wall thickness all around. The funnel is now almost complete. This step is now finished. The next step is to create the final feature, a small hanging loop or hanging hole. This feature allows the funnel to be hung on a hook or a rack when not in use. It's made using two semicircles sketched on the rim of the funnel. Back in FreeCAD, rotate the model to get a clear view of the wide opening at the top. Select this top face and click on Create New Sketch. To fit the sketch properly in view, press V plus F or click Fit All. Zoom in to the area where you want to place the loop. We'll create it on one side of the funnel. To align the sketch accurately with the funnel's outer surface, 
activate the external geometry tool and select the outer circumference. Next, grab the circle tool, pick the intersection point between the circumference and the vertical axis as the center. From this point, drag out a circle and set its diameter to six millimeters. Now, using the same center point, create another circle and set its diameter to 10 millimeters. At this stage, if we try to move the circles, they stay attached to the outer rim, but not to the vertical axis. To fix this, hold control, select the circle center and the vertical axis, then apply a coincident constraint. Next, activate the arc by center tool. Pick the origin as the center and draw an arc along the outer rim of the funnel matching the larger circle we just created, just like this. If you try to move this arc, you'll notice one endpoint isn't fixed. So again, hold control, select that endpoint and the large circle, and apply the coincident constraint. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Let's clean it up. Grab the trim tool and remove all the extra lines, leaving only the loop shape we need. The loop sketch is now ready. Close the sketch. Back in the part design workbench, with this sketch selected, activate the pad tool. If the extrusion isn't visible in the right direction, check the reversed box. Set the pad length to one millimeter and click OK. And that's it. The hanging loop is now created successfully, completing the funnel model. Let's add some fillets around the loop to smooth out those sharp edges. Back in FreeCAD, activate the fillet tool from the toolbar. In the fillet parameters, set the radius to one millimeter. Now, click on Select. Pick these edges around the loop. And click OK to apply the fillets. With that done, the ventilated funnel is now taking its final shape. Next, let's add a few chamfers to give the model a cleaner and more professional finish. Start by selecting the end face of the stem outlet, that's the narrow end of the funnel. Activate the chamfer tool, and in the parameters, set the chamfer size to 0.4 millimeters. Press Enter or click OK to apply. Now, rotate the model to the opposite side. Once again, activate the chamfer tool. Keep the size at 0.4 millimeters and click Select. Choose these two edges at the rim and click OK. And that's it. The model is now fully completed. Now that our model is fully complete, the final step is to export it for 3D printing. Back in FreeCAD, go to the model tree and select the body you want to export. Then open the file menu and click on Export. In the Export dialog, choose the 3MF format. This format is widely supported by most modern 3D printers and slicer software. Give your file a suitable name and save it to your desired location. Next. Open your preferred slicer software and import the model you just exported. Place the funnel on the build plate so that the wide mouth or rim is facing downward, resting flat on the plate. This orientation ensures better adhesion and minimizes support structures. Once positioned correctly, slice the model according to your printer settings such as layer height, infill, and material type and send it to your 3D printer. And that's it. Your ventilated funnel is now ready for 3D printing. You've successfully modeled, detailed, and prepared a complete functional design from scratch in FreeCAD. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming lessons. If you'd like to support my work and help me continue creating high-quality tutorials, consider buying me a coffee on Ko-fi 
Your support, no matter how small, helps me dedicate more time to making detailed, beginner-friendly content for this community. You'll find the Ko-fi link in the video description below. Thank you for following along, and happy 3D printing.